um, you know, try to swing the pendulum just for a few seconds as they, uh, you know, sort of time their efforts uh, to get that flag out, you know? Um, all they really need sometimes is a distraction because if you've got a flag runner that's really quick on his feet, um, like, you know, we've certainly seen, uh, you know, ID from FOJ do it, you know, where, where he will RJ himself across that middle and he's done with it in uh, probably less than three seconds. We got a double pickup once again, Jones making the, the grab for etc. And he is uh, pretty pretty well stacked. He's getting a bit of MG against him, but he's lost his armor. He's now about to make his move against the center. He's dodging rails, hiding behind the pillar, trying to survive. And he gets railed once, railed twice, and Scream once again, making the play. But I don't know if he'll be able to get back to that flag to get it returned. Both flags have been dropped. Both flags are in the open. We got a pickup by Mesta. He is at 60 health, and uh, he is at his base. So all they need is a return. And they will get this done, but I'm seeing most of their guys in the base. Viju is making a push. We get a set of Jones able to pick up the flag one more time. And so in all that time that the flag was sitting there, uh, Mesta uh, not able to bring it home because the flag just sat and sat. And etc. was able to pick it up again. Jones has now made his way back to the base and uh, has a fairly nice stack. We're going to go take a look at uh, the other flag carrier. Screaming, trying to make a play there. And there it is. Mesta uh, fending off at least one guy down to 75 health. Frags WN. Grabs a bit of uh, health here, but he is now down to zero armor. Uh, yellow pops. Uh, that's going to help him out. Survive the next onslaught. But, uh, I don't know. Um, it looks like most of the paramedics guys are back on D. That means that... Uh, that's going to give the advantage in terms of offensive offensive uh, force to etc. And here it is. We got Mesta unable to grab that mega health, and we have a return by a Shism. 4 0. Uh, it looks like Shism forgot something. There it is. No, it's going to be Viju grabbing it. Viju's going to RJ, and uh, he's just making his way across the top. And it seems like uh, one thing I would like to see paramedics do. Oh, we got. Uh, Viju uh, killing one guy, but we're going to see a pickup, a media pickup by Shism, who uh, was following Viju there. So that's nice teamwork by etc. And uh, we're going to see get another captain. He's 5 -0. I like to see paramedics uh, start hanging a defender out at the, uh, the mid-level there, because um, so far, I think every single exit by etc. has been a simple RJ out the side doors. Yeah, and that's, it's really, really hard to flag the on this map. Like you said, you can grab that flag and then platform, or RJ out that platform, and it's almost near impossible to stop them. Well, I mean, I mean, you, you can, you can uh, anticipate it, you know, you can start landing rockets there. I mean, uh, you have enough time from when the carrier, you know, starts his move. Uh, you know, to just land a rocket in the general area where he's going to be. And usually, you know, they're going to be already taking a lot of damage uh, from the splash of, of the rocket jump. Um, and then, of course, if you land, a, you know, another nice rocket anywhere near them, you're going to pull them down. or Because we've seen most of the exits uh, by etc. when they've made that move. You know, their, their carriers have, you know, 20 health, maybe 40. Uh, and that's without taking any damage from the opposing team. So... Uh, you know, like I said, a little bit of splash damage from a rocket goes a long way, and it would stop that uh, flag run in its tracks. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, it'd be another story if, uh, you know, if the flag runners were able to really stack up uh, quite a bit of armor, but it seems like the most that we're seeing them get is, you know, maybe 50. Uh, they're leaving the rest of it to their defenders. And here we got Viju grabbing the flag, and he tries, he makes the attempt, but he's missed it twice. We've got Zero picking it up. The flag's been returned, the flag's been dropped by Zero. Uh, so we're going to see a double return here. But with five caps to work through, paramedics um, really having a hard time. We're seeing Mesta, for example, running around a lot with his gauntlet out. That's not really going to help his team out. Um, you know, it, yeah, overcoming a 5-0 deficit right now is really, really going to be tough for paramedics. 
but but I would say you know it's it's not impossible. I mean, we, we've seen the team, we see paramedics able to turn the tide in the center, once or twice. You know, and they, they just need to work on uh, nailing that down. Now the other thing to mention is, is that, excuse me, this is Etc's map. Uh, this is what they feel really strong on. So I think our next map is going to be CTF7. I'm curious to see how that pans out for them. Um, you know, we, we might see a, a turn of the tables here for Paramedics. We got Zero picking up the flag, and uh, he's trying to make his way out. He pulls down WN. He's got help, and he's making his way through the center. We got another pickup. Viju making the RG once again. 66 health, 20 armor. Going to bump him up to 91, and he is across the center. He's trying to line up rails against the carrier, and cannot land up against Zero. So Zero will make it away. And there's a schism. Uh, has pulled down the carrier. We got a double flag drop, but then once again, the paramedic's flag is sitting lonely lonely and this time it will be uh just barely able to be returned and yeah, finally the paramedics able to return one of those flags that's been left out in the middle it was really close too i mean they had uh, somebody ready to grab it on etc So yeah, I have to uh, say, we're going to sit here and watch Jones for a minute here, because he has just been storming the center. Uh, let's take a look at his stats. Uh, he is sitting at 36% accuracy, best weapon of course is the railgun. Uh, he is sitting at 29 impressive scopes. Very nice. Yeah, Jones has just absolutely beastly railgun aim. And this is like the perfect map for him. Yeah. Viju with the grab, um, uh, missing the RJ, but still sitting strong with 74 health. Uses a mid kit to make sure he doesn't get pummeled. And he RJs across the center. Like I said, that is uh, one way to get across in just a few seconds. And we're going to see cap number six right here. And you can see right there how quickly, once you get that flag, you can be back across into your base with two rocket jumps. That's why it's so important to keep control of that middle part of the map. And right now, Cedra just has that part of the map on lockdown. Now, I want to I wanna try to watch WM for a minute here because uh, we have seen him. Yeah, he's taken on two guys, make that three. Uh, he's got a little bit of help. We're gonna see if the flag carrier can get out. And oh, there is yes, WN getting the getting the frag, and he leaves the flag there because he wants to make sure that the base is clear. And it looks like it will be because I'm seeing at least three paramedics guys on D. So WN will be able to. Uh, and I just pulled down zero. In fact, uh, we got Jones picking up the WN flag. I'm mean, sorry, the uh, the paramedics flag, and uh, it looks like they were all going the other way. So he probably has a pretty easy uh, run right here. He got a hit by a little bit of plasma, a little bit of rail, but he is through the center and making his way through the GL entrance. And this will be cap number seven. We may see the cap limit here. Buy, etc. They have one more to pull through. Jones showing that his rail gun aim does not uh, end and begin <laughs> at the middle. He just pulled down two guys inside the base. Very vertical shots. Very nice. 33 impressives for Jones right now. Yeah, he's he's probably having a lot of fun with that right now. Just uh, it's, it's almost like it's a time counter, the amount of impressive he's getting. And he's going back for more. So yeah, I think I think what we're just seeing here is you know the experience that the Excedra guys have. Definitely playing a you know, definitely taking its toll, I think, on the paramedics right now. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, you know, in, in another minute here, we're going to see a whole different map, and I wonder if that's going to be a lifeline for these guys. I can say I have seen Excedra practice that map quite a bit. Yeah. Alright, so Shizum making a play for the flag, 91 health, not going to be able to get the RJ out. 
and he's been